I was wrong and I am an idiot and um, we follow you on Twitter so we already know that you're wrong and that you're an idiot you didn't have to make a video about it ah uh, yeah that, that that's kind of true but I was wrong about Gatsby I made some mistakes and I don't want you to make the same mistakes so let's talk Gatsby I actually think that it's great and my I guess that's why it's called the great Gatsby and it's one of my favorite roles of Leonardo DiCaprio Oh, we, were, we, were, we were talking about the fame. So when I say let's talk about Gatsby, probably the entire React community is gonna be like oh, What's there to talk about? Do you maybe have an opinion that you shouldn't use it? Or is there something better? Like it's the, it's the best thing ever. Why? Why? Easy there, easy. I know it's the community's favorite and so on, but I had a certain opinion about it. Now I have a different opinion about it. Can, can, can we even have opinions in 2019? Hmm? So I have this website for my workshop, reactacademy.io, which I'm gonna link somewhere in here. And it was made in 2017 using Gatsby. And in JavaScript time, that's like ages ago, you might wanna call it the old code, the trash code. You put it in a folder called legacy. And let me first answer this one. What, like create React that wasn't good enough for you? You and your hipster tools, you always have to over-engineer everything with your static, fancy site generic. Why did you actually use Gatsby? So I made a website to promote the workshop. So I need people to arrive on the website. Hello, darkness, my old so I need the website to be searchable and crawlable and I need good SEO. And with Create React app, you cannot have SEO, so you must have some sort of server-side rendering. And if you want to use server-side rendering or SSR as the cool kids call it, you want to use a framework like Gatsby or Next.js or React Static, or if you really, really, really hate yourself, you might want to roll your own solution. I don't know. Well, actually, it's not even that complicated. You just need to use Node.js and you need to read from the stream and to write from the stream and to read from the writing stream And then you just put it on docker on AWS and you split it into eight lambdas You can have a pretty performant SSR win on I don't know what's the issue with this framework something Just a second. I need to throw up <sighs> Thank you for waiting. So I just decided to pick the most popular one Angular 7 am I right? No, it's great Everything is fun in games until you start pulling in data and the default way of working with Gatsby is you're using GraphQL. Don't you like love GraphQL? You're babbling about GraphQL, GraphQL, GraphQL all the freaking time. That's true. I love GraphQL as a technology, but it just doesn't belong everywhere. I love cinnamon, but I'm not putting cinnamon on me when I'm showering. I guess unless the unless the shampoo is from you get my point! So the data for my workshop is hosted on graphcms.com and I have like listings for all the workshops that I have. The title, the description, the time, the place, the blah blah blah. And for every workshop I want to display it on the front page and I also want to create a separate page for each workshop. I, I, I mean you can already notice I'm a master at marketing. List the workshops, make pages for it, huh? Who does that? Uh, everyone and this is what a page looks like for a single workshop so that's what I have the home page and a single page for every workshop that's it like it's really really simple so when I started with the website and with Gatsby I thought it's gonna be as simple as fetch all the workshops with a GraphQL request and just create a page for each one of them and you receive the data as props and that's it you're done but I got a good old slab from front-end development and once again it reminded me that nothing can be simple ever in the configuration file of Gatsby you have one main query which is gonna fetch all of the data that you need and it's gonna create all the pages from that data. And then for each page, for the home page, for the about page, for the workshop page, they define their own queries at the end and they're basically telling Gatsby, here's the data that I need for my page to work. So if one workshop entry was different than the other ones, let's say it was missing something stupid like a description or the height of a logo or, or something really not important, Gatsby would do one of two things. It would either yell at me, yo Gatsby, my G, my old friend, I have this app that I want you to compile and have all the data. I cannot it looks more stand or less you. the same. Almost everything is the same except I have one sorry. or two fields missing. I think we, can we can can you compile? No, I cannot. I cannot use null or undefined or a zero or an empty string. I need exactly the height of that logo or I'm not going to compile or it would completely break down. Hey, 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 easy, easy. Oh, it, it's okay. It's, okay, I'm gonna give, okay, we'll give you the data, whatever you need, just kill. And that was such a chore for me that when I thought of updating my landing page, I would rather not use JSX, I would go back to templates, but I would rather 
do the dishes. I would use the combination of BAM and SAS again. So I, would, I would use coffee script. I would clean my downloads folder. I would install ESLint. I would clean my desktop instead of dragging all of those icons in that folder that you put everything in. I would use Vim as my editor until the end of time. Actually, everyone is using it because they cannot exit it, right? Uh-uh, no, you're not right. Vim jokes are not funny anymore, and let's just try and escape from them. See what I did there? So what was I saying? Yeah, it became a chore because anytime I wanted to update my models on the backend, I would also have to update all the queries in Gatsby and make sure that everything is working perfectly fine, otherwise there's friction, it's not gonna compile, it was just... Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm just... Fuck it, I'm not gonna update my landing page at all. So hey kids, where are you doing a workshop next? I checked your website and I see that the last one was in 1998, somewhere in Asia. Are you planning to have any, maybe new ones? Are you gonna update this thing or no? Okay. Well, I would love to update my landing page, but it turns out it's just a huge game. So you can throw a dart somewhere on the map and guess where I'm going next. Huh? No? Oh, oh okay, I, 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 I guess I need a way to update my landing page. So I switched to React Static. And Gatsby is like way, way, way more popular than React Static. Gatsby is like Taylor Swift and React Static is like four windows up. Do you, do you know that, Ben? Of course you don't, because I made it up, but you get my point. When you tell someone that you're moving from Gatsby to React Static, their reaction is always like, you're gonna switch, you're gonna do, are you even, are you okay? Are you feel, let me just check your temperature. Oh my God, that, that doesn't look good to me. I, you you look a little bit weird. Let, no, 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 no. Hello, 911, uh, we have an emergency. There's a person here who's about to switch from a popular framework to a less popular framework. Yes, at least eight cars, please. I, I, I think this is really, really serious. We have to do something. Yes, I get it. It's more popular. It has more stars. I need 70,000 stars in actually to even consider start using some libraries. So how much does your React static? What? I don't even recognize that number. So give me something with more stars. But my use case is like really simple. I have a website with two types of pages. I wanna pull in some data, generate those static pages, and just be done with it, that's it. In React Static, you have like one config file and you pull in the data that you need, whether it's from REST or GraphQL or whatever, and you look through that data and you just create your pages. It's that simple. One config file, how can you not fall in love with it? I mean, it, it was really, really beautiful and ah, oh, it's a shame. Those were the good old days. What? The, the, the good old days? Aren't you still using it? What? what? So for the last three weeks, the web page wasn't updated again. And that's because my CI was failing. And that's because my build was failing. And the build was failing because of some random cryptic error that I couldn't find any help for. So I guess it had something with the migration to React 16.8 and hooks and so on. But React Static has support for hooks, but my build wasn't passing. And I talked to Tanner, who is the girl, who is the creator of React Static, and he was very helpful. And at the end, I still couldn't figure out the mistake, and I think my build just couldn't pass. So this morning, I was really persistent, and I decided I'm going to update that freaking landing page. And I did it! I remember that somewhere in the replies in my asshole tweets about Gatsby, the creator of it and a couple of other people from the community actually pointed out that you can use Gatsby in the same way. No GraphQL, just one file, and you can just generate all the posts and whatever you need from that one file. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should check that out. And it turns out it's possible. And yeah, it was really simple. I just downloaded the official Gatsby boilerplate. I use gatsby-node.js instead of the default config with GraphQL and so on. I'm gonna put the actual file that generates my pages down in the description so you can actually see how everything works. In that config file, you have a create page API. You just grab your data from your GraphQL server, you look through the data and you call create page and your pages are created. That simple, no GraphQL, no magic, no queries, nothing complicated, it was, it's sweet that it's finally working. And yeah, I guess I was really wrong and I apologize if I offended someone with my hateful tweets about Gatsby sucks and GraphQL is the worst and why are you complicating? Back in my day we just used FileZilla. And that's it, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, to share the video, to like the video, to check out React Static, to check out Gatsby, to check out... Jesus Christ, I just made you a bigger list than the to-do list that you already have. So at the end of the day, you know what? You can do whatever. I'm gonna let you enjoy my face being wrong and being booed for around 15 seconds and I guess I'll see you in the next one.